All right, guys, Anthony Super Service. Here we go again. We got Matt's truck, 6'4". It's got head gasket issues. Uh, thought I would just do a quick walk around. Not sure if we got broken exhaust manifold bolts. We'll kind of address those. Heads are coming off. It don't matter. Uh, he did have, we did a Y pipe. This was back before we uh, started making our own. Got Flowpro uh, pipes on here. But I told him we were going to be addressing this when the cab comes off and it's time. We'll be cleaning all this up, cleaning the transmission all up. Uh, right now I'm getting ready to power wash, so I wanted to show how nasty it is before I eliminate all of the uh, indications. It's looking like a front crank seal. See how it's all wet right there at the top? Looks like it's uh, definitely looks like a crank seal leaking, so I think I might pull the balancer off too before I power wash. Clean it all up. Uh, probably go ahead and crank sensor, cam sensor, get all that done. Um, get a lot of it cleaned up, just initially. I've taken some of the stuff off just so I can hit it real hard with the power washer. That plate's a little wet, but I mean, yeah, transmission's absolutely disgusting. It sucks power washing transmissions too because it splashes right back in your face with all the ribs on it. What a pain in the butt. It freaking sucks. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. That way I can clean engine harness, or the chassis harness. I can get that kind of clean and then I'll take the harness off and drape it over there and uh, then clean the frame again, clean it more. I mean, anything else? I don't know. We'll just, uh, just thought I would show the nastiness. I don't know what else we've got to point out right now kind of weird that we still got the front what do you call that the SCR or whatever the front part of the DPF is still there that's kind of I think we're gonna do a uh, downpipe back exhaust look at that looks like his vent has been pouring out fluid see how it's all kind of clean coming out of the vent it's all clean running down a lot of times an oil leak you will see where the oil leak originates from because it won't be sludge because it has a fresh trail of fluid coming off of it. It's all kinds of oxidized. Other than that, I mean, here we go again, let's do it again. Get the brackets off, get all that stuff taken off. Yep. Uh, that sucks. Broken fan clutch wires, freaking drag. Sure hope that is not a cracked cover. Cap. I doubt it. I think it's probably coolant from the fuel cooler. Who knows? Hopefully the studs are okay on the exhaust manifolds and we can reuse them. Because sometimes it can be a mother. Those exhaust manifolds really aren't that expensive. So if the studs get tore up or messed up or anything, uh, we generally err towards replacing the manifold. But uh, we'll decide that. Sometimes they'll come out and it'll be all right. These don't look too bad. They really don't look too bad. I mean, it might clean up. This is the, uh, yeah, he exploded the drive shaft. Had to get a completely different drive shaft. This truck uh, definitely gets worked pretty hard. Uh, right now we're, we've got quite a few jobs going. John's job is going right now and he's got a, cracked crankshaft so any of you guys out there got a crankshaft you want to sell let us know i'm looking for uh some some cores some parts i could use a 6.4 crank right now like a son of a gun dipsticks broke pretty common happens sometimes but let's get to cleaning we'll just call this uh, matt video one all right guys have a good day